Hey everyone, welcome to a new YouTube video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what is more profitable, Zazzle or Redbubble. Uh, before I get into today's video, I do want to say something uh, that is important to print on demand. Uh, and, and this is before I even get into the concept of the video. You guys see that we're starting to talk about other platforms now. We're talking about Zazzle. We're talking. We're going to talk about more about Etsy. We've already done a few Etsy videos. Uh, we even have the Etsy Helper on here for free on YouTube on the uh, website. We have a collection of videos that you can go ahead and watch for Etsy. I think these are good beginner videos that everybody should watch around the Etsy SEO. Different platforms we're talking about um, around print on demand now, and and that's going to continue. The one thing I really, really want to tell everybody is do not forget about doing the tried and true methods. Don't forget about uh, diversif diversifying and not putting all your focus in one basket. And I'll explain what I mean. A lot of the times when we start a brand new platform, let's just say like Zazzle, we've done a lot already on Redbubble we, and we're going into Zazzle. Do not forget about Redbubble. Don't forget about uploading on Redbubble just because we moved to another platform. Don't forget about Etsy. Don't forget about all these different platforms. Because what happens is, guys, is that as we build one platform and we get enough sales, we don't want those sales to go down right now. We want to maximize the amount of passive income we're generating on all facets of the of, of the meaning, right? Just because there's one platform that we're focusing on right now doesn't mean that we don't we step off the gas on these other platforms. We do not want to be average, guys. We want to be above average. We want to be super successful, and we want to do what other people aren't doing. And at the end of the day, if we want results that other people do not have, we have to put ourselves in positions that other people aren't putting themselves in. And that means sometimes doing a little bit extra work, pressing on the gas on these platforms without forgetting the older platforms. So for example, if you started working on Redbubble, you got a few designs up, you did well, you're starting to make some money, and now you see me talking about Zazzle, and you start Zazzle, don't forget about Redbubble. Keep going with Redbubble because that's very, very important. It's for, it's, you know, just today, for example, every single account we have on Redbubble made us sales today. This account, I think, made us like four sales, I think. Uh, we're at 227 now, so we're doing pretty well. Um, but, you know, without a doubt, I mean, we have to keep moving forward in terms of the income we're generating and the platforms we're utilizing. Never forget about a passive income source. I think Grant Cardone said this, but he said, never neglect an income source. If something's making you money, never forget about it. Do whatever you can. Do whatever it takes to keep up with that income source. And yes, generate new income sources, but never leave an income flow alone. Okay? So, now to the video where we talk about what is more profitable, Zazzle or Redbubble. As you guys know... Um, I don't leave a platform alone until I learn how it becomes profitable. I never leave a platform alone until I figure out how to make money off that platform. And I never write a platform off because at the end of the day, I know if the other people are making money on the platform, then that means I can make money too. For example, on Redbubble, there are about 30 million plus visitors a month that come to the website. And the, the yearly revenue based on last year was about 559 million. If I'm not successful on that platform, even though I am, if I'm not successful on that platform, I know other people are. Therefore, there has to be money there. Zazzle is the same thing. Zazzle has about 10 million less uh, visitors. Their numbers aren't um, public, but I'm sure, or maybe maybe they are public. I just haven't searched for them. I'm not sure how much revenue there is, but there's a lot of sellers. I mean, there's a lot of people making a lot of money on Zazzle. With that being said... I know that there are people making money on these platforms, so I can personally jump into these platforms and make money myself. Now, how can I do that, and how can I set that up? Well, I have to understand how to how all the you know the the different mechanics of the website. But that's not the focus of the video. The focus of the video, which is more platform uh, profitable? Well, I will tell you this based on my personal experience. Zazzle is more profitable, but it also comes with more work. Okay. The potential to make more money is greater with Zazzle, okay? And I'll explain what I mean. If I have one design on Redbubble, I can put that design on all products. Hats, keyboards, phone cases, t-shirts, etc. With that being said, the way it's presented on, on Redbubble, it's, for example, if I click on this product here, guys, and I think this is, uh, I, I don't know, a Shamrock, Shamrock Choir uh, shirt. Okay, if I click on this product, right, and I click on the seller here, or excuse me, I click on the seller, 
a person who is a beginner, who is newbie to, and by the way, this was a story we featured on the the Redbubble review, but if I click on something like this, a person who's a newbie to Redbubble might not know that there's a button right here that says, view this product on 35 plus products, right? Like, what I'm trying to say here is, is that the way the products are presented is not readily apparent to the people who aren't familiar with Redbubble. And if you know anything about how the sales are generated on Redbubble, a huge percentage comes through organic traffic. So somebody might uh, or search on, on Google, Lake in New Zealand, Mousepad, and they might find this link on um, on Google, click on it, and end up right here. They might not know there, there's a desk mat for sale with the same design. They might not know that a phone case, a notebook, etc. With Zazzle, it's a little bit different in the fact that when you upload a design, it sticks to that one category. So here I have the, uh, there's a design that says, I paused my game to be here. You're welcome. That same design is, you don't see coffee mugs here. You don't see um, that, that other, you know, you could transfer it. Yeah, but it's not the same. Like, this setup here is not the same as something like this. Like, this does not look right, right? You guys will see here in a second. That design, uh, I don't know why it's not showing up here. It just maybe has to take a second, but yeah, there we go. It's loading. It doesn't look right on this apron. You can see here it doesn't look right. The system is different. Now, what that does is that opens an open door. And that open door is for somebody to create these same designs on other products. And it really should be the creator, right? It should be the seller to do this, to create their own designs on more products. But um, what happens is, is that a lot of people don't do it. They focus on one product. So, for example, with the t-shirt, they'll focus on one t-shirt. But the reality is, is you could be making a lot more money when you take that same design and you put it on another product. Now, once again, because of the way Zazzle is created, there are a lot of different options and different things that you can do with Zazzle. For example, one of the things that you can do is you can add the customization feature where you can edit a piece of the, the art where people can customize it for themselves, you know, add their name, add whatever to it. Uh, so what that does is that starts to change things now. You know, the fact that there's customization on Zazzle opens uh, a new door for income for you. Any little feature that a platform has or adds to the platform gives you a chance to make more money. With that being said, you can still make a ton of money on Redbubble. The problem is, is there's less uh, customization. Now, what I said very specifically is I said Zazzle is more profitable with more work. In the equation of what's more profitable between the two, what I'm not counting is I'm not counting the quotient or the variable of work, right? That's what I'm not counting because Redbubble, I've spoken about this before, but Redbubble's work is very easy. I can create 60 designs in a half hour, which I have shown in the tagging course, excuse me, in the design course, I have shown this, right? I can create 60 designs in a half hour and I can upload those 60 designs in the same period of time or I can use an automator to do that for me which is even faster. So um, in terms of effort, there's not much effort with Redbubble, right? At least compared to other platforms like Zazzle. With Zazzle, there is more effort. There is more customization. There are more features to, to be aware of. Uh, your product is going to show up on, on other products less, meaning it's not going to show up as good. For example, this Santa Claus design here, it doesn't look good on this apron. It doesn't look as good on this pillow. It doesn't look as good on these platforms. And the reality is if somebody is going to go here to this t-shirt and buy it on the t-shirt and let's say they want extra merch, they might be turned off by the way that this is placed on Zazzle, right? This feature didn't exist on Zazzle forever. It's only been here for a little while. We're talking a few years. Uh, Zazzle's been around for a very long time. In fact, it's one of the OG platforms. It's been around longer than Redbubble has been around, believe it or not. But the thing is, is that like, for example, on the acrylic keychain, this, this Santa design does not look good on the keychain. It got cut off, right? And this, what I said, is opens a new door for more income. And more specifically, if you look at the way this is set up, if we search for this specific design on Zazzle, right? Funny Christmas Shirt 3, you're not going to find this on a keychain. So if I search for keychain, if I search for Funny Christmas Keychain, right? 
and I search for this exact design, I'm not going to find that one, that Santa Claus one on the keychains. Why? Because that's it wasn't created for that. So what that really does, like I said, is that opens new doors to make more income. Now, Zazzle has a built-in tool where they'll try to take your design and fit it on other products, which is the, it's called the Make Engine, which basically they take the, your design, like I said, and they fit it on all other products. The problem is, is it's not optimized, it doesn't look as good, and it's not really... It just doesn't work properly. Like it's not it's not made for it. So that there's a lot of problems that come into play and it hurts Zazzle sales. If Zazzle can remake this the make engine and make it a lot smarter with maybe some infel- artificial intelligence or something to figure out how to get this to all fit and look good, then they're in a different ball game, but that's not the case, which is why like I said, there is that open door to make more money on on Zazzle. Uh if, like for example, look at this. Like, this should not look like this. The Santa Claus shouldn't be yellow. And anybody with a logical mind would not purchase this product. Because the design is so small, it's hard to even read the text. The Santa Claus is yellow. It just does not look good. And I think we can all agree on that. Therefore, nobody's going to buy it. And that's the problem, is that it takes more... It's not a problem, but it does take more effort on Zazzle to make more money than it does on um, Redbubble. Okay? But it also takes more effort. You know, the pro- and here's another open door here that, that allows Zazzle to make more money is that if you're a seller on Zazzle, is that um, the uh, buying things in bulk. So if you guys look here, every product has this on Zazzle where you can choose the quantity. And when you choose the quantity, you get larger discounts. Now, don't get me wrong. Redbubble has discounts as well, but they usually are brought on by email marketing. Um like typically, for example, if I click on this product here and I click on this sticker, you typically very, very, I mean, I've never seen a sale here. Like on this actual price, I've never seen it. I have seen discounts like the one you're seeing here on the screen that says save 20%. Do you guys actually see that? No, you guys don't see that. But it's right under here, like the purple section here, right? It says save 20%, use code whatever, okay? That's an example, but... um you know, Redbubble does come up with their discount codes, but Zazzle is basically telling you right on the website, save X amount with the code, but actually, you know, you could buy more and save more. So that also is another open door. I've spoken about this before, but the very first sale I ever got on Zazzle, which is literally what made me start thinking differently on the platform, was a hundred unit order of keychains, a hundred units. And that started to make me think differently. And I said, wow, so if I just start strategically creating certain designs, if I start strategically tagging the right way, that I can make money more than I had before on other platforms. But that will take more effort, right? It's not like I can just take the product, put it where it goes, whatever, and I don't care. No, that, that doesn't work that way. There are certain There's certain levels to this and more effort behind it, right? And the reality is, is unfortunately, the make engine doesn't doesn't fix these problems like if we look over here on the serving tray you look at this design the santa claus is cut off nobody in their logical mind is going to buy this and this is the unfortunate part is nobody is going to buy this so all this technology in my opinion is wasted right because it's not optimized for it so something that i would say is is that yes you can make more money on zazzle yes it could be more profitable but keep in mind with profit also comes hard work in this circumstance. Not all the time, but in this specific circumstance, you're going to. It's going to take more work to make more money on Redbubble. If you're if you're if you're focused just purely on work, I wouldn't get involved in Zazzle if I were you. Zazzle is a work related platform. Like you're gonna have to work a little to make a little bit of money. But is it worth it? I personally think so. You know, if if it gives us a chance to support our family, support our lives, support our dreams, why not? I mean, at the end of the day, let's face facts. Just uh, a few months ago, there was a history in time called the Great Resignation, where the most out of out of all times of the whole entire like world in terms of careers, the highest amount of you know re- quitting happened recently. I think what was it? I think at one point, forty percent of the people quit. I mean, that is ridiculously high. That is crazy high. And people are in search now for things that accommodate their lifestyle more. And so what I would do, guys, if I were you, is I wouldn't focus on what's easier. 
I wouldn't focus on that because at the end of the day, when we humans, we start focusing on what's easy, we start running ourselves into the ground. We start to create problems for ourselves. We shouldn't focus on what's easy. We should focus on what can we commit to, okay? Now, yes, with Redbubble, you're going to make more money with less work. With Zazzle, you're going to make more money if you work more. However, I wouldn't focus on the amount of work, guys, honestly. I would focus on what do you want to achieve, and what is it going to take to get there? It's not about how much work it's going to take. It's not about the money. It's not about all that. I'm telling you guys, I've seen people come and go, come and go, come and go, who state they want the world. They want to achieve this. They want to achieve that. They're saying that they're willing to give up everything for it. But the reality is, is they're not. They're not willing to do any of those things. And it's just talk for them. And they have lived around a group of people that have allowed them to speak this kind of way. And the reality is, is they're losing confidence. They can't keep a, tr a truth. They can't keep a, a, a promise to themselves. And they start losing confidence in themselves. This is why a lot of people, uh, the, the scamming community exists or this this community of people that think everything is a scam, right? When, you know, you, you could go on Google and search, is Zazzle a scam? I bet you hundreds of people have searched that. Why? Because they're a group of people who cannot trust in themselves and cannot trust the idea of hard work. They just can't. And I get it. I get it. This is not for everybody. And I completely agree. These platforms are not for everybody. But the reality is, is that when is that all going to come to an end? I mean, if if one thing is a scam, if another thing is a scam, if Red Bull is a scam, if Etsy is a scam, then what is not a scam? You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, um, I don't think we should be focused on, on how easy things are. I don't think we should be focused on finding what's easy. Uh, I had a question the other day of somebody asking me, you know, what's easier, Zazzle or Redbubble? I don't think you should focus on that. I think you should focus on your success. I think you should focus on what you want, your goals, right? Like for me, I want to create multiple passive income flows from multiple different stores on multiple different platforms. And so for me, Zazzle is part of that equation, right? It fits, it fits the resume, so now I gotta I gotta utilize it. You know, that it's just as simple. Doesn't matter if I like it, doesn't matter if I love it, doesn't matter if I hate it. Right? At the end of the day, I'm not getting married to the platform. Right? It's not something I have to live with. I'm just using it for a period of time. And that's gonna produce an income for me. So for everybody here watching, if you wanna take print on demand seriously, there is an element of okay, let's put our head down and let's work now. It's no jokes anymore. You know, the world is changing. The reality is, is the world is changing. And platforms like this are the biggest blessing to people right now. I don't want to talk about Ukraine and Russia and the whole thing going on, but let's face it, there are people dying out there right now. You know, if they had the opportunity to stay home and just work, where, where would their life be in terms of comfort? Any kind of little benefit that these people can get is, is a good thing, right? But the reality is, is guys, is that we take things for granted because they're given to us easy. And we have these platforms in front of us. And a good way to, t you know, my dad told me this is, I he told me one time, guys, I wasn't like really focusing on what I was supposed to be doing. And he was saying, you know why I know you're taking this for granted? And I said, why? And he said, because you're not dedicated. You have everything in front of you. You have all the resources in front of you. All, all the abilities, everything. You have everything in front of you, but you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. That's why you're taking it for granted. There's a lot of people who, you know, let's be honest, who are taking things for granted. But, you know, you have a choice, right? At the end of the day, whatever platform you go on, you have a choice. You have a choice to uh, push as hard as you can and succeed, or you can sit back and watch everybody else succeed. I mean, there's only two groups. And so for me, I'm going to keep pushing hard, even if I'm struggling. Like, I'll be honest today, guys, super, super tired. Didn't feel like doing 60 designs on Redbubble today, but I got them done. I wasn't motivated. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't happy to keep pushing, but I was doing it anyway. And I think why is because I was taking for granted the sales. Like I said, we made sales on every single store today. Every store. I think this store alone, we got four sales. The other store, uh, one store we had 11, one store we had seven, one store we had one, another one we had one, another one we had three. So all I'm trying to say here is, is that let's keep going, guys. I know some stuff might be easier than others. Uh, this platform is, uh, Zazzle is definitely more profitable if you put in more work. Now, like I said, that drives a lot of people away. I saw a comment the other day as well where uh, somebody was watching one of the older videos on the Redbubble videos. And he's, and in the video, I said, um, you know, to make a full-time income, 
It could take years. It could take months. Just depends on how dedicated you are. And he wrote, he said, as soon as I heard him say that it could take months and years, I'm out. And that's an example of a person who doesn't want to commit themselves to long-term success, who doesn't want to commit themselves to true results. And at the end of the day, you know who you are if you want to get successful, if you want to make a certain level of income, you know who you are. And honestly, there's no shame either way. There's no shame if you really want to be successful at this. And there's no shame if you don't want to be. I mean, let's be honest, some people, they would hate doing something like this, but they would love going out there and, uh, you know, doing construction or being a plumber or something like that, which is a beautiful thing, right? There's different preferences, preferences and there's different opportunities for different people. So uh, there's nothing wrong with doing anything in this world, but... Uh, The way I look at it is this is a platform that I'm going to take advantage of and I've been taking advantage of and it's been a very long time now that I've been at this Um, and you know we're just starting to talk about it now but for for by no means should we neglect um, other platforms like like I said we're focusing on Zazzle right now talking about it in the videos that doesn't mean we we neglect Redbubble we still have to stay consistent on Redbubble we have to go harder than we ever went before right we could even on our own time go to other platforms like T Public. I'll tell you guys this is that my first month on T Public, because I learned how, how Redbubble works, and by the way, if you guys don't know this, Redbubble had acquired T Public, I think back in twenty eighteen. Uh they bought them for I think forty six million, something like that. Forty six point six million. I could be wrong about the numbers, but I think that's I think that's what it was. Um I already knew how their their algorithm worked. I already knew the nuances that made Redbubble different from TeePublic, and I jumped on it. And I had to, yes, it took a few days to learn, but I started to get sales very, very quickly on TeePublic. In fact, uh, for TeePublic, I think we made over $1,000 our first month on TeePublic. So, and that's more success that I had on TeePublic than I did on Redbubble, but guess what? We made it happen. So at the end of the day, guys, success is within all of us. We can all make it happen. If you want some guides on tagging for Zazzle, if that's something you need, check out the website, autopilotpassiveincome.com slash Zazzle course or Zazzle dash course, uh, or you could just literally go to the website. I'll leave the link in the description box down below and the comment box. If you need help with Redbubble, the tagging, the titling, the designing, uh, the courses are in the description in the comment box as well Um, and when I say the comment box I'm talking about the pinned comment the first pinned comment all the links are there if you want to go get it if you don't want it don't go get it and uh, you know shout out to everybody watching these videos and shout out to the people who are grinding each and every day working hard to achieve their goals guys it's not easy I'm out here with you I'm I'm pushing with you guys Um, you know I have goals that sometimes are too big for me to even think about But at the end of the day, we're all ambitious because we're all pushing. We're all moving forward. So let's go ahead and keep moving forward. Let's not give up. And uh, hopefully this video is a good video for the first day of the week, Monday, to keep pushing forward and let's not give up and let's stay committed this week to not missing any days of uploading. Let's go ahead and do that, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye.